All right, guys, take it from someone who's done federal time before. Sam Bankman Freed will absolutely get his ass whipped in federal prison. He will also be treated bad by some of the guards, and he will also be treated bad by some of the inmates. Now, check this out. I don't usually do videos like this, but I've received three or four emails from different subscribers asking for my take based on my experience with the feds with Sam Bankman Freed's case. So I'm going to go ahead and lay that on you right now. Okay, guys, the first point of business I want to make about this guy, and this is going to cause him a lot of problems with the guards and with other inmates, is just the way he talks and the way he is, okay? Check this out. The big hair, first of all, that's going to be shaved off as soon as he gets to a U.S. federal facility. They're not going to go for that. But when they ask him questions and he looks down and he mumbles and he says things like, well, I just, you know, the, the data and I, I, I geez, uh, oops, and, uh, you, you know, guys, that shit ain't going to cut it. That's not going to cut it with the cops. It's not going to cut it with the cons. You know, first of all, most of these cops and the feds, most of these correctional officers, some of them are dirt bags, but some of them are okay. But here's the thing. Just about all these guys are ex-military, right? Ex-army guys, ex-marines, ex-navy. They expect eye contact and a direct answer. And you damn sure better tell them the truth or don't tell them anything at all, okay? That's for sure. Same thing with the inmates. I don't care if, you know, you trade somebody for a Snickers or for a book of stamps or, you know, a pair of shoes. You make a deal with somebody and you're supposed to pay up or you're supposed to do something and you don't do it and they come to you and they're like, hey, man, where's my shoes at? Hey, man, where's that 75 bucks you were supposed to put on my books? And you're like, well, it, it just, I, I, I don't know. You're going to get the shit kicked out of you. It's that simple. Now, I will say this. The Federal Bureau of Prisons, they do a pretty good job of designating inmates. Like, he's going to be in with a lot of financial crime guys, doctors that double billed Medicare, Medicaid, lawyers that stole money, investment bankers that embezzled money, things like that. But... He's also going to be in there with some convicts, too, with some hardcore guys. And I'm telling you right now, they will kick the shit out of him if he acts that way. They're going to ask him a direct question. And they're going to expect a direct answer. Now, a lot of times the cops, too, cops aren't going to like him because they're going to look at the amount of money that he stole. And, and the cops usually don't make a whole lot of money. So they're not going to like him automatically. There's going to be some that don't like him. But things happen in prison, guys. Fights break out. Things get stolen from the kitchen. Tools get stolen from the maintenance facility. Things like that. Knives get found on the yard. Things happen and cops interview you, okay? Now, you got one of two choices there. Um, number one, you can just say, hey, you know what, LT, Lieutenant? Uh, you got your rules and I got mine, so I really can't talk to you and I don't know nothing about the situation anyway. You let it set like that. Or, you know, you can be like Mr. Bankman. He, well, you know, I, I, I guess that, you know, I saw, I saw Javon. He, he hit Michael in the nose. And, and you can't do that. They're, when you first get there, they're going to give you a rule book. And it's going to say that, you know, the inmates' bill of rights and that you can always talk to a cop or you can always talk to a counselor, do the right thing, integrity. It's kind of like an elementary school rule book. Here's the thing, though. That rule book, guys, you throw that bitch out the window because it don't mean shit. Inmates run these joints. Inmates have a code. Um, it's an unwritten code, okay? And that's just the way things goes. And I'm not sure he's ever going to be able to, to fully understand that. Now, let me talk a little bit about his ugly girlfriend and his other friends and his case and just what he's up against with the feds. First of all, this guy's out in La La Land. He's going to fight extradition to the United States? Are you kidding me, dude? You're not going to win that. And you saw what happened. At first, he said he was going to fight extradition. And what he should have done was flown his ass into Washington, D.C. and turned himself in. Okay, He'd be in an air-conditioned cell. He'd be at the MCC, MDC uh, correctional facility, air-conditioned cell, watching TV with access to telephones and his lawyers. Okay? No, he didn't do that. He hid out in the Bahamas, not taking responsibility. 
and now he's sweating his ass off in a bohemian jail where he's one of the only white dudes and one of the only U.S. citizens locked up in there. So they've got him basically in a segregation hole cell, right, by himself, that's probably not air conditioned, probably smells like shit, okay, probably not clean, and I guarantee you he doesn't have access to his U.S. lawyers or a TV, okay? And uh, so you can see he came around real quick. Two or three days later, now he's ready to waive extradition, fly back into the United States and get this taken care of, which is a good thing. Um, let me touch on his girlfriend and his friends. Uh, his girlfriend's going to do time too. Um, right now, they've went to her. They've told her, look at all this illegal shit that happened. She said, I didn't know it was an illegal. Well, ignorance of the law is not an excuse, okay? She's going to fully cooperate against him, as are all of his friends. 100%, they're going to roll on him. It's guaranteed. And um, he's probably going to give up the fight and... They'll give him credit for like being a first-time offender, not being a violent offender, and they'll knock his they'll knock his points down as much as they can. But the thing is, he's going to get a boatload of time. He's going to get a grip of time. There's way too much money missing for him not to get a lot of time. So that's pretty much what you can expect right there. Um, what's going to hurt him more than anything is the way he was raised. You know, you can tell automatically that, you know, he was a total participation trophy kid. 100%. Oh, Sam, it's going to be fine. You can be the president. Mommy loves you. That shit's out the window now. You know, grow up, dude. Get a haircut. Make eye contact. Yes, sir. No, sir. You know, answer questions. That judge is going to have some questions for him, too. And um, he damn sure better have some good answers, you know, such as, you know what, Your Honor, I take full responsibility. I'm sorry for what I did, and there's no way I can repay it back, but I understand you have to make an example out of me. Hopefully, when I reenter society, I can set a good example and show them that I've learned from my ways and prevent other people from doing this stuff, right? That's what you need to say. If he pulls this mumbling game, he's going to get his ass handed to him, okay? And it's not going to be a pretty sight. I mean, hell, when I got sentenced, I went in there and told Judge Benitez, it's absolutely my fault, nobody to blame but myself, and I'm not going to do it again. I mean, how hard is that? So how is he going to be treated in prison? Not good. You know, he's going to have a hard time just the way he is. His social skills, hard time. I'd further like to add that anybody who invested money with that guy or that damn girlfriend of his, what the hell were you thinking? Could you not see through their line of bullshit? Especially her. They asked her one time what she thought about the money being crisscrossed into different accounts, and she was like, well, I asked him, Sam, are you sure? And she's just shaking her head like this. And she's like, what about the risk? I'm like, aren't you just regurgitating information? 100% you're just regurgitating information. What risk? I guarantee you she does not even understand what the hell she's talking about. She's just repeating words that she's heard. But she's going to understand. She's going to understand real quick because her defense attorney is going to explain it to her when that U.S. attorney is across the table from her. All right, guys, that's my take on the crypto case. Um, I hope I answered your questions. We'll see you down the road.